friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. In today's video, I played with the new Urban Decay and Eternals collection. There's an eyeshadow palette, highlights, lip products, eye pencils. I played with it all with you. Did swatches, tutorial, all that good stuff, and we are gonna get into that. But before we do get into that, I did wanna talk about today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creative and curious people to explore their passions, maybe discover new interests. They cater to everything from lifestyle, cooking, plans, all the way to productivity, film, editing, photography, all that good stuff. There is such a range. There is something for everybody on Skillshare. The class that I was recently enjoying is Productivity Today, Managing Attention in the Digital Age by Kevin Siskar. Now, I am constantly doing 5,000 things. I run my salon studio full-time and I'm doing this YouTube thing and it's a lot. I'm constantly managing a million things. I don't work under anyone. I literally handle everything by myself. So I have a million things to deal with. I thought this would be a helpful class for me, just helping organize my thoughts and how to stay productive a little bit better. <laughs> this was a really good class. He really dove into ways to improve your focus and how to categorize different things on your to-do list and how to figure out what needs to be prioritized. It was really helpful and it inspired me. He also gave a lot of tips on apps that can really help with that as well. So overall, I thought that was a really good class just to help get me inspired. Another thing I love about Skillshare is that because it is curated specifically for learning, there are no ads, so you can just learn to your heart's content. And with it being less than $10 a month for an annual subscription, it makes it a great affordable option to explore new things. The first 1,000 of you to click the link in my description box will receive a one month free trial to the premium membership. Skillshare, thank you so much for partnering with me on this video. I love working with them. I love discovering new things and taking new classes and I hope you enjoy exploring as well. All right, so one quick thing, I wanna just give my jewelry details before we hop into it and then we will get into swatching, close-ups, tutorial, all that good stuff. My plugs today are from Love Kills Boutique. I do not know where this choker is from because it was a gift and this hat is from Fox Blood Shop. So yeah, without further ado, let's just hop in, do some close-up swatches, all that good stuff. And then at the end of the video, I will give you my thoughts so far on the collection. All right, let's dive into this collection. Let's start with the two face products. We have two highlights in this collection. We have a gold shade and more of a bronzy shade. I do not know how to pronounce these, so I'm recruiting my husband now to see if he knows how to pronounce these because he knows more about the comics than I do. I don't know these words at all. So we'll see what Zane says. Zane, you know more about superhero stuff than I do. How do you yeah. pronounce these two words? Um, I don't, I looked at that one. I don't know what that is. Unimind. Okay, well I figured it was Unimind, but... Yeah, I don't know what Cunarune is. Cunarune. That's probably not how you say it. <laughs> I'm we'll... sure the pronunciation police will come after us. Maybe we'll find out when we watch the movie. Moving on to lips, we have four of the Lip Eclipse formula. We have the shades Agility, Ancient, Brilliance, and Knowledge. Agility is a red, Ancient is a neutral, Knowledge is a brownie shade with purple sparkles, and Brilliance is more of a champagne -y sheer with sparkles in it. I like the variety of these colors. I'm glad they aren't just like all a neutral. I like that they're a little bit different. I think these are gonna be fun to play with. We have four eye pencils, which gets me super excited because I love adding new eye pencils into my collection, and I really love Urban Decay's formula. We have Cosmic Energy, Cosmic Eternal, Cosmic Mission, and Cosmic Speed. Very excited for more eye pencils. And finally we have the palette itself. It is quite large and when you open it up it's actually like a pop-up style palette so it has the Eternals symbolism all over it. And then on the inside we have 15 shades. We have a mixture of mattes and shimmers. The mattes are all very neutral. Not anything new there from Urban Decay. And we have a mixture of different shimmers. We actually have some really pretty shimmers in here. There's a really pretty duochrome. And the shimmers are what makes me excited about the palette for sure. So yeah, there's the overview on the collection. I would love to hear your thoughts. I will give you my thoughts on how I feel about everything at the end of the video. But in the meantime, let's just move forward and actually create the look with the products from the collection. All right. Hi. Hello. How's it going? Let's dive in. I've already done all of my makeup on my face except for highlights, so I figured we would start there since there are two highlights in the collection. I don't know if they're going to work on me actually. Like I'd already done my swatches and everything and I was like, you know, these look like they're too dark for me, but <laughs> I figured maybe we'd at least try one, maybe blend it out. It won't look too scary on me. Um, let's try the Unimind one the gold. Worst case scenario, maybe we can use one of the shimmers from the palette over top of it. This is my ColourPop F33 brush. Let's have a look and see. Ooh, that's very gold. 
Very, very gold. Ooh, I don't know. It like almost works. If you are one shade darker than me, this one probably would work for you. I'm only gonna do the other cheek just so they at least match when I top it with something else. It's a pretty gold though. I just don't know if it's right for me. I think it's a hair too dark. Let's look in the palette. Ooh. Oh, I just dug my nail into it. <laughs> what if we use this protector shade? That looks like a shifty, pretty duochrome. If not, there is a white eyeshadow in the palette that may also work. I feel like that actually helped a good bit. I think it helped kind of lighten that gold up some. And the gold can still shine through, just kind of lighten things up a little bit. Still not an ideal highlight for me, but I think it helped. A top cosmic blast over top just a little bit the white i guess we're being just super highlighty today no big deal oh i really like that actually yeah it just took a little bit of cosmic blast right here to top over the highlight all right let's dive into the eyes though i'm pretty excited actually i have an idea in my mind it's gonna be very shimmer heavy i'm gonna go ahead and prime with my uh milk makeup hydro grip eye primer i love this stuff i think it's wonderful i hope you're having a good day by the way i don't know if i asked you what are you up to today let me know lay it on me all right i'm gonna start with in the shadows this sparkly black I'm not a huge fan of these mattes that have just sparkle pressed into it, but seeing as there is a very limited supply of mattes that don't have sparkle in them, they're all just very light, um, you gotta do what you gotta do. This is a big fat pencil brush from e.l.f. and I'm gonna focus that just out here in the outer corner of my eye. We're seeing the new Venom tonight and I'm so stoked, you don't even know. So kinda like that, just a little smoky on the lower lash. A little bit of winged out in the outer corner. I'm gonna take this dual-ended Luxie brush now. No additional product, like at all. This is a clean brush. And I'm just gonna lightly start blending at these edges just to get a little bit of a blend going on. I want this look to be very concentrated just to my lid with a little bit of winged out in the outer corner, just so that it's very tight and smoky and cute and sparkly. I like that. It's not crazy black, but you know, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it kind of blending out to a little bit more of a gray. Makes it look nice and soft. I feel like this look is actually gonna be really quick now that I'm doing it. <laughs> I wasn't, I'm not intending on speeding through this. It's just kind of how it's going. I'm gonna take my NYX glitter primer now and I'm gonna pop some of that on the packing side of that Luxie brush. I'm gonna slap a bloop of that across my lid because I like to use this with shimmers to help them pop to their fullest potential. Now I wanna take Genius, this lovely shimmer purple right here. Put it on that same sticky side of the brush. Let's dive in. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm only gonna do it on this half because I wanna do the other half of my lid with a different shade. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that black shade from earlier just to lightly dust out here to keep that depth going. And again, just lightly blend at those edges as well. Oh, that purple is actually really, really pretty. I'm gonna take Protector now, the one that I attempted to use as a face highlight. I'm just gonna take the clean side of that same brush. And that, my friend, is gonna go right here in the front part of my lid, just to give some more shiftiness to this look. Oh, that's a really pretty combination of colors. It's just very, Smoky purpley. It's cute. I actually want to take Merciful now, that shimmer green. Can you tell that I'm attracted to the bottom row of this palette? I'm just taking a little pencil brush and I'm going to smudge that on the lower lash line just to give a little bit of a lower lash line pop of color. Obviously, I'm just gravitating towards the colors in this palette. I think the only like fun color that I'm not using is the blue because I'm not feeling that right now. These other ones are quite lovely. For the inner corner, I'm gonna take Cosmic Blast right there. Just a nice, bright, white, highlighty shade. Yes, 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 yes. I probably would like this overall look a little bit better without that gold peeking out under my highlight, but I don't hate it either. I think it's cute. I think overall this look is pretty cute. Very fast and simple though. Again, I did not intend on this being so fast, but I had this idea in my head and I, like how it came out, but it makes me feel like we could have just shrunk this palette a good bit. You know, it's a little big and bulky. I guess I can just do my waterline with you since we're here and there's waterline colors, or eye pencils, <laughs> waterline colors. Get it together, Betty Jean. Eye pencils um, in this collection. I'm thinking Cosmic Mission might be pretty. 
It's like a metallic purple. Let's give it a shot, shall we? I really like Urban Decay's pencils. I think they're very creamy. Especially their metallic ones, I quite enjoy. Oh, I think that looks really nice in the waterline, actually. That was eventful. <laughs> I'm gonna repeat this on the other eye. Throw on my lashes and pick out one of the lip eclipses. Eclipse? Is the plural of eclipse eclipses? I don't know, but I'm gonna pick out one of those lip products and I'll be back when I'm complete. All right, got my hat back on. We are complete. I like this look a lot. I think it's really pretty. I like how it came out. I like how these different tones play together. I'm vibing with it. The lashes I paired with this are Rouge and Rogue's Miss Fury lashes. And then on my lips, I went with the Control Lip Pencil from ColourPop with the, what are you called? Knowledge Lip Eclipse from the Eternals collection. I really like this color. It's kind of like a brownie bronzy with purple sparkles in it. This is beautiful, very unique to my collection. I love this lip, I think it's delicious. So yeah, that's my tutorial. Hope you like it. Let me zoom out and I will give you my thoughts so far. All right, hello. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. I really like how this look came out. It was very quick and simple, but I feel like it's very impactful. I'm excited to go to dinner in the movies tonight. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm also really excited for Eternals to actually come out. The trailer looks awesome and I'm excited to learn more about that part of the MCU. <laughs> okay, let's break it all down. The highlights. While the glow itself is pretty, these are not for me. I should have realized that before I dipped my grubby little fingers in them, but I have friends that will definitely enjoy these. The lip eclipses are pretty. Again, eclipses. I'm gonna Google that really quick. I guess it is eclipses. It just sounds wrong. English is a weird language. But regardless, I like the formula of these. I've tried one in the past, I'm pretty sure, but maybe I haven't. I could be wrong, it's hard to keep everything in my brain. Um, but regardless, I like this, and I like this color. It feels very slick almost feels glossy. It feels very comfortable and I'm enjoying it. I'm sure I'll really like the shade Ancient as well. It's just a really pretty neutral, you know, goes with everything. The one that kind of weirds me out that I don't know how I'm going to feel is the one called Brilliance because it's just kind of like a sparkly champagne, but I guess this could be pretty on like just a lip liner as almost a glossy effect. I don't know. I'll keep playing with these. I'm kind of excited. The eye pencils are honestly the most exciting part to me. They're just really pretty colors. I really like Urban Decay's metallics. I'll definitely use the blue, purple, and kind of gunmetal shade a lot. The gold I'll use here and there. I already have a metallic gold that I really enjoy from NYX. It's called Glitzy Gold, um, but I'm really excited about these. I like the formula. They last long in my waterline, and I'm always down to add more pencils to my collection because I wear an eye pencil in my waterline every single time I do my makeup. And finally, the palette itself. And finally, the palette itself. I don't like how bulky it is packaging wise. It is not my favorite thing. Um, and I feel like the pop-up, it's, it's just a lot. <laughs> this isn't what I personally need in my makeup. And I can tell you right now, just from me opening and closing it a few times, I'm already destroying the edge of this little lip here because it's kind of annoying to open. But let's ignore the packaging for a second. I can't even open it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Let's talk about the inside. I feel like this definitely could have been condensed to be a little bit smaller and the mats are just so boring for what this is. Why does Urban Decay always feel the need to put the exact same neutrals in every palette? I'm not sure because this palette actually had some good potential. Even though I'm not a big like matte with sparkles in it kind of person, I do kind of like this black. It performed nicely. It blended really well. And a lot of these shimmers are really pretty. I'm really into how my lids look. I just feel like maybe they could have spiced this up a little bit more with more interesting mattes, but at the end of the day, it is Urban Decay. This is what they do. There's pros and cons with this palette. Is it the most exciting thing on the planet? No, but I do enjoy aspects of it. I think the shimmers are quite lovely. So yeah, those are my thoughts and feelings. I hope you enjoyed my video. I would love to know what you think. Do you plan on picking anything up from this collection? Did you already? I'm not sure when this collection launches, if it's already launched by the time this video goes up, but regardless, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Are you pumped to see the new movie too? Because I sure am. And again, a huge thank you to Skillshare for partnering with me on this video and a reminder to you that the first 1,000 of you to click the link in my description box will receive a free trial to the premium membership. If you made it to the end of this video, I don't know, leave me an emoji that makes you think of a superhero since this is a Marvel 
collection, whatever that means to you. And if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Batty Bean fam and Batty Bean on everything. I post every single day on Instagram and I'm pretty active on TikTok and Twitter as well. And you can subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. I'm posting every single day in the month of October. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.